What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about Kawabunga Lite, which supports iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5. How cool is that? You can get jailbreak-like tweaks and themes even on iOS 16.5 on all devices, including the newer ones like iPhone 14, 13 and stuff like that. And it's coming for Windows too. More on that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by PassFab iPhone Unlock, a software that allows you to easily unlock your iOS screen passcode. If you forgot it, you can reset it by resetting the device, you can remove the Apple ID if you forgot it, and even remove the screen time passcode or bypass MDM. Now if you set for example an accidental passcode or a screen time passcode and stuff like that and you no longer remember it or maybe your kid set one and they no longer remember it and stuff like that, you can easily reset that and reset the device to get it back working and this supports iOS 16 as well. Do keep in mind that any data that is not backed up to iCloud or to a computer might be lost, but the device will be reset and you will be able to use the device normally. They currently have a giveaway 20% off Happy Easter sale that you can check out on their website in here. It also works with MDM as I said if your device is stuck on MDM and it says it's managed by a company and stuff like that you can easily use this as well. Definitely check the program out. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and a free trial is available. The program is pretty simple to use. You can see the interface in here. Very simple you just press start in here, connect your device and that's it. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember I made an article on my website iDeviceCentral.com which I definitely encourage you to check out is called Kawabunga Lite for iOS 16.2 16.4 released in beta. Now this is currently in beta still but it supports iOS 16.0 up to 16.5. The developer Lemon Limes says in here Kawabunga Lite beta 3 is out. Kawabunga Lite updates are on pause for a short time as it's being rewritten in Rust. Soon it should work on all platforms Mac, Windows and Linux. Exact version compatibility is currently unknown. So for those of you unaware, this is basically like the normal Kawabunga which allows you to have themes and tweaks and stuff like that, but it's the light version. It contains fewer tweaks. Because the normal Kawabunga, as I explained here on this article, it uses the McDirty Cow exploit, which is not available after iOS 16.1.2. It was patched in 16.2. However, the developer found a way to actually leverage the computer backup function of the device. And with that, they are able to install the tweaks and themes and stuff like that. But not all of them from the Kawabunga worked. In fact, only a couple of them did. Now, the application is still in development, which means more tweaks will be added soon. Soon, but currently you can have themes that you can see here. This is Kawabunga Lite running on Mac OS, but it will work on Windows and Linux too. You have icon theming, status bar, springboard options and stuff like that. Now, today I made this article about Windows coming soon. This is important because normally this is a program that runs on the computer. Unlike the normal Kawabunga, the IPA Kawabunga, which works only on iOS 16.1.2 and lower, this one is a computer application. You don't install this on the phone. You would plug in your device to the computer, it will show up in here. Here, as you can see and then you can install the themes and enable tweaks and stuff like that disconnect the device and the tweak remains active now I know many of you probably don't have a Mac because those are expensive computers many of you probably have Windows computers and that's why it's being rewritten and the Windows version is coming soon however you should beware of Kobanga light scams since this is currently in development the only option for you would be to become a patron on lemon limes is patreon which is basically how you support Kawabunga but one once this is completed, once Kaobanga Lite gets finished, it will be released for free according to the developer. So if you don't want to pay, just wait. However, according to the developer, some people started selling Kaobanga Lite, which means that you're paying money to get Kaobanga Lite, which is currently in beta, but that money is not reaching the actual developer. If you want to buy access to Kaobanga Lite, the only way to do that is to head over here to Patreon. This is Kaobanga iOS's Patreon. And of course, you can become a patron. But if you don't want to do that, if you want it for free, just wait a couple more weeks until it is actually finished and ready for a free release. So yeah, that's basically it. Kaobanga Lite is coming to Windows as well. Soon you will be able to tweak iOS 16.5, 16.4.1, 16.4, doesn't matter. You will be able to tweak that. Sure, it's not a lot of tweaks. It's not the amount of tweaks you had on Kaobanga, the iOS application, because we don't have an exploit on iOS 16.2 and newer. This is completely without an exploit, but it's still much better and you can still install themes, which is definitely great. So yep, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.